So here I am at Copart, excited as always to pick up another car. So this is actually a clean title Chevy Impala and in this video I will be showing you my experience with buying it, what I ended up getting, was it worth the money. If you guys like videos like this, I will be buying many cars from Copart in the future and I'll be showing you guys my experience with those as well. So if that's something you guys are interested in, definitely subscribe to see future videos of that. As for right now, let's dive right in and check out this car. Here it is, a $650 Chevy Impala that I just picked up at Copart. This is a salvage auto auction, but very occasionally they sell clean title cars. This was listed as a donation. With the clean title cars, you usually don't know if there's any damage or anything like that, unless you check out the car. I didn't check this car out in person. I bought it sight unseen, so I have no idea if there's any damage mechanically or anything like that. Maybe it's a rust bucket, I'm not sure. But that's what we're gonna find out right now. They just got it loaded on my trailer, so now I'm gonna go ahead and do a full walk around, see what I'm dealing with and if it was worth the 650 bucks. It does have a 100% clean title, clean Carfax history, so I'm really excited about this. If I got it for only 650 bucks and everything checks out, that is an absolutely amazing deal. From the pictures, the most damage I saw was th these scratches on the front bumper. I'm not even sure if I'm gonna repaint that. Maybe I could touch it up and do something with it. I don't know. I'm gonna look into that. I'm not sure if it's worth repainting that. Headlights, definitely I'm gonna buff out. They're gonna look much better. Maybe even get replacements because we see some weird disintegration here. I might even buy completely new headlights if they're cheap enough, like on eBay or something. So that's gonna really transform the look of this car. Both headlights obviously pretty foggy. Uh, some obviously minor dents and scratches throughout it uh, more on the bumper here maybe I will get the bumper repainted who knows maybe I'll find another used one other than that the body panels are great this hood looks good fender looks good I'm gonna clay bar the entire thing so it's gonna look mint wheels are in great condition tires on this thing are excellent so we don't see any more damage on this side this all looks mint the rear bumper looks pretty bad. Um, it's got a lot of peeling clear coat. Again, I'm not sure if I'm gonna leave it like that or get it repainted. Second negative thing I noticed about this car is this rusting quarter panel. That's not good at all, but it's not the biggest problem, you know? This will still probably pass inspection. People will not really care about this. If I really wanna get it fixed, I can. It's not expensive and it's not gonna take long. So not, not a huge deal breaker. For 650 bucks, that's kind of expected. I don't really mind too much about that. This side, a couple minor scuffs, but other than that, looks good. Now let's see the interior. Interior looks good. Oh, I want to check one more thing. I want to see if it's rusty underneath. It's got a little bit of rust underneath, but nothing horribly bad, so it's not a deal breaker. It's just a little bit of surface rust, honestly. Checking out the interior. I mean, it looks good so far. Let's see. No rips. No rips here, which is like common on, on most cars. It's just a little dirty. I'm gonna clean this up and it's gonna be nice. Let's see if it's gonna start. Wow, it even has a remote start on it. That's awesome, right there, you can see that. All right, let's see if it'll start. Started right up, that is awesome. That is awesome, okay. So I see a check engine light. I'm gonna get that scanned as soon as I get this thing home. Steering wheel has uh, obviously some pretty bad wear. I could probably throw a steering wheel cover on it. Um, not worth swapping the entire steering wheel out for that. Looks pretty good. Uh, obviously a little concerned about that check engine light, but it's too early to uh, to tell if that's an issue or not. We'll check that out very soon. As soon as I get this thing home. Yeah, it's definitely dirty. It's definitely dirty. The back seat especially is very dirty. Not a huge issue, you know? Headliner is very clean. It doesn't smell smoked in or anything, so that's good. I mean, it's pretty awesome. I mean, for 650, if that check engine light isn't bad, we got ourselves a really good deal. We see one headlight works and the other doesn't, so I gotta either swap the bulb or see what else is going on, but it's most likely just the bulb. Not that big of an issue. Let's see what we got under the hood. Looks 
looks pretty clean under the hood to be honest like I don't see major rust spots anywhere it runs quiet I like it so far so good so far so good Alrighty, so we are ready to roll. I've seen everything there is about this car. I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing home, get it cleaned up, and see what else we can find out and see what it's gonna look like as a finished product. Let's get going. So this actually turned out to be one of the worst purchases I've ever made from Copart. This car had a ton of mechanical issues that were not worth for me to fix. When I got the car home, I saw that it had no power steering. Uh, turns out the pump was bad, the hoses were bad that went to the power steering pump. It had a huge oil leak and the head gasket was blown. So these things were just not worth it for me to fix and try to make any money on the car. So I just sold the car to a mechanic for a break even price. This is just a prime example of someone trying to get rid of their car that they can't sell on Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist. Otherwise they would just sell it there.